Hey, 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 what's going on, everybody? Hope you guys are doing well. A little uh, Wednesday Night Dragon. It's been a while since I've seen you guys, so it is good to uh, have y'all back in chat again. So, uh, man, I don't know where to start here, man. Uh, let me, let me, let me quiet this down some. It's loud in here. All right, let's go ahead. Uh, let's say, let's say hey to, I wish, Nick, I wish. We don't have that yet. He's still tightening a few things before we show it here on, on stream, so. Uh, if we do get that DT60 here really soon, man, we'll uh, be sure and showcase it here. Absolutely. Uh, let's go ahead and throw some guys uh, up here on the Blues. Wonders, what's up, man? Kale's good to see you, man. As well, see paint in the house. Good to see all the guys in blue. Uh, and all the guys in green, man. Maddie B, what's up? Boom, Lex is in the house. Rob Ship, what's up, man? Freightliner fan, B9 Bot. Uh, Playbox, what's up, man? Good to see you. Uh, we got anybody else? Make sure Popeye, 263, what's up, man? Patrick D in the house as well. Thunderwolf. Blitzkrieg, what's up, fellas? Good to see you guys, man. Uh, we'll so start, uh, yeah, Psycho's in the house. Big Jim, Triple Deuces, what's up, man? Master, I've been good, man. I've been good. I, we'll see, Daniel. I, it'll be fine. I always like good stuff like that. It's, uh, that's uh, at least, um, what's, what's the best word? Licensed Volvo heavy equipment. Like, it's cool, man. It, it'll be fine. I mean, I'm not like, <gasps> Because, I mean, we got a lot of heavy equipment now, and people just haul reefers, so I don't know why they really care. <laughs> but, you know, it is what it is. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, Jerm, what's up, man? Uh, EDBD ZKO1 Gaming. I'm sure there's probably a cool way to say that. Jody, what's up, man? Top truck. Top notch truck. What's up, man? Uh, truck and Colby, what's happening? Hello, hello, hello. Tony Speaks. Race gaming seat. Uh, track racer gaming seat. Yes. Oh no 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 uh no need to apologize there Nick. No need to apologize. Jameson, what's up, man? Tiny Killer, hello, Gnarly Fox, what's up, man? Fox Sum, what's up, buddy? Good to see man. Gary Branch always well. Gary, I say interesting. Wow, with two R's on that one. Nice man. All the way from New Zealand. Good to see you, man. Thanks for coming in. Jay's Gaben, what's happening, buddy? Good to see you, man. Uh yeah, man, the DD60, whenever he gets that bad boy uh tuned up, we'll have it here on stream, man. LD80 Truck and Sim, what's up, man? Oh, okay there. What's up, man? Luis Lobas Trucks from IG, what's up, man? Hope you had a good stream earlier. Tony Tone, what's up? Who's Truck? CTDM Mods? We'll talk about a little bit about it here uh, as well. El Trailero Billy, saludos. Hola, muchacho. Hope you are doing well, my friend. Me and me go. Alan Gates, what's up, man? All right, let's go ahead and let's pause this. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. We'll be right back. All right. Well, here we are in the Tri-State Commodities out of Greeley, Colorado skin here for the CTM modding W900L 1999 version. So this is a really, uh, I think this is a really cool workhorse truck. Um, this is a little bit different. So I want to I actually talk a few things before we get started here uh, as well. Captain Chaos, what's up? $50 donation there from Mr. Double K. Z-Mod's Volvo engine sounds really, really good. I know they're really, really good. <laughs> I got I to gotta get some ETS2 people that would watch me do one of his sounds on ETS2, man. Uh, that's awesome, man. Good to see you. It is good to see you, and so much thanks, man. Appreciate that. What a way to kick off the stream, man. And smiling from ear to ear. I was always smiling. I don't know how I can't smile anymore, man. Appreciate that, Captain Chaos. Been a supporter for a long time, man. Appreciate that. Very much so, man. Uh, New Gamer, my week was good. It's been busy. Uh, I've been a little bit under the weather fighting off just the seasonal allergies now that fall is kind of like, bam, first day here in the south. So we've had a lot of rain and we've had a lot of, um, you know, moist conditions. Um, so anyway, I've just had this congestion and uh, kind of fighting off the last bit of that. So anyway... I think I'm finally on the other side of that. But it was busy last week. My wife was really, really super busy last week with stuff at church. So uh, that has all come to a close. So uh, for the most part, normal stream time stuff should probably commence from this on. Um, so let's talk a little bit about uh, the mod. Um, so there's a couple things that I want you guys to understand about this. Uh, just because I showcase these on stream does not mean that you guys need to immediately go out and buy them. Um, I realize that some people are scared uh, if they're looking at John Rudis and thinking, oh, I probably can't run that. It's so nice. If you were to ask me, say, you know, comparatively speaking, do you would go this one or you go Rudis? If you're going to go purely based and you don't have to worry about performance, I say go Ruda. Uh, Rudis is, I think, 30 for his killer 
This one is 25. It does not have as many options as I think it probably should have for 25, so I'll throw that honestly up there at the at that point. But we don't have a lot of W900s that are uh, on this custom side that are also not a slammed like show truck. Um, this one kind of has more of the definite work feel to it. The interior is nice, though. Uh, so we'll, I'll show you guys the interior on this one. It's actually really nice. It's got some nice customizations on the inside where you can do different panels, different colors, and it's kind of like that pleated vinyl look, you know. Um, so it's definitely got a work style truck to it. Uh, it's compatible with pretty much everything. And he's got a really good Facebook group with tons of skins and a pretty active group that's constantly kind of doing things and working on this truck as it is. So you're kind of seeing all of the custom stuff on this. He's got custom fenders and custom bumpers. Uh, but I do so many sew trucks. I was like, nah, let's just do and actually build up kind of like a work truck today uh, and kind of see how we get along with that. Custom head racks. That's some nice headache racks on this truck. Um, and I plan on doing a smaller kind of showcase video, 15, 20 minutes, to kind of show you a little bit more in depth of some of the, the options. You've got custom bumpers and stuff like that, but it's not anything that's like you haven't really seen before in other mods, if that makes sense. But it's a good, solid truck mod. It's compatible with all the sound stuff. It feels good when you drive it. Uh, it looks scalable wise, it looks really good. Um, it's got that right, it's got that right jazz and feel to it. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, but it's a, uh, uh, I do have, actually, do I have the link in there? Let me, let me make sure I do. Uh, so Dylan, I think the 378.9 truck is 20 and I think his W, um, the 900A is also 20. This is the, actually the more expensive one, which was, you know, actually kind of, uh, kind of surprised me. Um, it's still a good truck. I just don't know it's quite up that 25 yet. But, you know, maybe with some things. And he is actually starting to update some of the interior pieces on it as well, which which is nice. So let me, um, let me, uh, hey, look at that, man. Member for 27 months. Woo! All right, man. Overdrive member there for Mr. Worldwide 007. Look at, how, look, at look at YouTube. Actually putting 27 months in there. Heck yeah, man. All right. Thank you there, Mr. Worldwide. Appreciate it, man. Did I miss the light on the front bumper? Oh, I had to go back and fix that because we can't have that. Let me um let me update you guys here on uh, uh let's see yes here we go let's go ahead and update you on the front bumper uh on the video here I want to put you a link in the description so if you guys need any uh if you need any more uh, links um I'll go ahead and throw this one in there so this is the Facebook contact he is a Russian um as most of the other either Russian or Brazilian. I think Kel's bought these. He likes them. Sledge, what's up, man? There it is. I just linked it in the description and saved. So if you guys do refresh on the stream, uh, it'll just show up. You don't have to reload it. Just just refresh it. And, and that is your uh, that's your load. So trailer-wise, we're pulling his Ruta's. Um, we got Ruta's trailer out of his trailer pack. Mapping, just because people always ask. We are running great. America just updated again. Um, so he's got uh, some more updates and connections into this. Now we've got South Dakota, Nebraska, uh, sorry, Kansas. Uh, got a little bit of Kansas in there. Uh, we got Nebraska, Iowa, and South Dakota. Obviously, Wyoming is over here, and they've also got the greater Utah uh, patch that he's done, which adds this nice little center section in here. Uh, so if you do Great America, that has got an update, so make sure you go to his Patreon and grab that. Otherwise, man, let's get to trucking. I'm Chad. I am going to be Yarls here in just a minute. Um, and uh, let's see. Let me make sure I got everybody. Uh yeah, Eddie. Yeah, yeah. What's up, Bart? Good to see you, man. Faze, hello. Uh, Bart Reefer's always good. Anything from Bart's good. Anything from Rooters, man, you guys can't go wrong with that. The only thing that you'll um, kind of go wrong with at some point. And thank you there as well to Dre Simmons. Thanks for the dollar super chat, man. And Ghost Trucker there, 60 with a $5 super chat. By the way, we got to give a um, – uh, either do that uh, – tell you what, let's do it tomorrow night. We've got to give away a um, – I don't have it, but uh, shoot, I meant to be over here. We've got a um, an FTG sponsored. Uh, it's kind of like a Yeti, but it's not a Yeti. It's just an insulated aluminum cup. Um, I've got one of those. Uh, we're going to give away tomorrow night. So twenty five dollar value. So you guys make sure y'all around tomorrow night. We're going to give that away. That's courtesy of Mr. Ghost Trucker. All right, I think we got everything to get. Okay, he is. You don't know it. All right. So there it is. So we're going to give one of those away, custom. Uh, yeah, LD80, what's up, man? Truck and Sim there. Thanks for the uh, membership, man. Appreciate you, buddy. 
brand spanking new. So that's what we get. We'll give one of those away tomorrow night. So I'll just get your address, and I can ship it straight from out of the store. That's courtesy Mr. Ghost Trucker. So it's got our uh, sponsorships on our track racer and our partnerships with Digital Storm and Fanatec. So, yeehaw. <laughs> Fancy cut for tomorrow. What's up, Graybug? How are you, man? Let's do a little uh let's do a little driven around here. Let me uh show you what what we got here on the outside. So very, very nice truck, looks great. Um it's got a really nice realistic feel to it. I like it. It's got a bunch of different headlights, so you can kinda pick out what you want. Let's uh Bait and Dermot, thank you there, man. Appreciate that. There we go, thank you there for the dollar man. The dollar Aussies. And so here is yes, you gotta be here to win. That's right. you got to be here to win. So the interiors are nice. You can pick out all these different colors. So I've got grays. You can do reds. You can do blues. A brown, I believe. And we've got brown on the ceiling. You can do the seat different colors. You can do the wood grain dash. You can do it separately. You could match the, the internals over here on this side. Um, so you could do the, the, the main dash on the, uh, on the cab. You could do it different colors. And uh, so the interior-wise is actually really good. I actually like this interior. He's got different color gauges. So if you're going to do orange, green, purple, red, uh, they all illuminate different colors, look great at night. And uh, so he's starting to work on a few things on the interior to give you guys some more uh, sound mods. But he's got a good group. So if you buy the, buy the truck, make sure you join the group because that's where all the accessory mods, that's where all of the skins, that's where all of that stuff is for his trucks. Tons of pictures, uh, and they're really good about reaching out. Um, some people have also mentioned to me that, you know, he didn't sell them the mod. That's not really up for me to debate. Um, you know, these guys can sell them who they want to. They're, like, not entitled to send them to anybody. But, um, you know, if you send him a message and he doesn't like something about your Facebook profile, then um, there's not much I can do about that. I just I just want you guys to know that. Like, I don't have any, I don't have any, you know, I don't have any, like, stake in this. Like, I don't I don't get anything for you buying mods from him. It's It's all his deal. So if he doesn't want to sell them, that's on him. That's not on me. Just want you guys to know that. I mean, I'm trying to show you guys some cool stuff that's out there. Not everybody's as deals and as nice as you think they maybe should. So, 25, Ghost. 25 for this. And then we're going to show you a, a Peterbilt in this one. Um, and I think it's uh, – I think it comes in at uh, – I think it's 20. So, his W900 is 20. This one's 25. And his other Peter is, uh, is 20, I believe. So, uh, no Montana, yeah, just I don't have Montana uh, expansion in there, Truck and Colby. Regal Pickle, what's up, man? I've been great, Graham. It's good to see you, man. I hope you're doing well. I've seen you uh, last time I, I spotted in, um, was watching you play a little Star Trek online. <laughs> I was like, look at him, still going, man. It's good, man. Uh, wait a minute, what happened? What happened? Did it like up on me? I think it froze. It sure did. It did not like me untouching that wheel. Hang on. Let's restart it. <sighs> Happens sometimes. That gum wheel. All right. Let's uh, we'll fire back up again. LCH Gamer, what's up, man? How are you? Witty, what's up? What's my favorite truck motor? My favorite truck motor right now would have to be the C16. That'd be that'd have to be my favorite one. Um, here we'll go back to this screen here. Something wrong is not right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> it did not like me uh, running my wheel and then unpausing it out of that in the same, which does it does happen sometimes, unfortunately. Uh, my chair does not rock to the motor. I wish it did, <laughs> but it doesn't. <laughs> Uh, well, I'll see if I can get it. Well, we'll see if I can actually get this to start back up again. There it goes. Oh, man. <laughs> Give one away. Dude doing an awesome job. Thank you, man. Appreciate that, buddy. Dang. All right, man. That's awesome, man. Appreciate that, Ghost Truck. Uh, Ghost Trucker 60 there. $50 for so a little giveaway. A Kenworth W900L tonight. So, woo. All right. Oh, I do. I'm gonna get my uh, get my stuff pulled up here, man. Just enough, yeah. You just happen to just walk in at the right time. <laughs> Imagine that. Woo. <laughs> uh, what you mean? How big is the wheel? My wheel, 14 inch. If that's what you're asking. 
There we go. Now we're now we're all back in. We're back. We're back in right now. So if you're asking, the W900, uh, the W900 pack, plus uh, he has compatibility mods with all of Z mods, with all of what's the other one? Z mods. Uh, Ka um, I almost said Cash Shadow Walker. Uh, uh, Creech Bomb. He's got compatibility mods for both of those, so even if you don't have the Z mods, he's got compatibility. Plus, he's doing his own engines, and it's also compatible with the W9 interior pack. So, so yeah, man. It's good. He's got a lot of compatibility with it. So, And KI has got a special light pack coming, so whenever he gets that sucker bottled up, and uh, we're going to feature that one here on his 352. He's got a killer light pack coming up, so you guys are going to enjoy seeing that. It is, Daniel. Good catch, man. <laughs> you don't see the other side, but my Ferrari is on the other side of here, but nobody sees that. <laughs> I gotta say the um, the W9 interior effects pack are way more um, work 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 horseish than the the three XX pack from Z's. Like they're so uh, yeah, and actually I don't think it's in the camera. To be honest with you, I think it's I'm not sure. I think it's something in OBS because it does it on whatever screen I'm on. I don't really know what else it could be. If it gets much worse, um, if it gets much worse, then I'll I'll try unplugging it, replugging it, and we'll see what happens. So. Oh my gosh! Oh, I know what happened. <laughs> yeah, I'll just pretend that we don't see none of that. <laughs> What's up, Akula? I'm good, man. Hope you guys are good. Yeah, I see that flicker now on that camera. It's interesting. I'm scared to unplug it and plug it back again. Of course, y'all got to remember, man, it's been like a week since I did this, so there's no telling. I probably need to update something. <laughs> pick up uh, we're in Cheyenne Wyoming as we're like 20 minutes in the stream finally uh, telling you guys where we're at so we are headed to Gillette so we got to go pick up our grain uh, we're gonna go pick it up here in, uh, in Cheyenne so we are using JBX so if you guys ever wonder what JBX looks like you're looking at it now Uh, Ryder, this is the only one that it comes with. He's in the process of like all these guys are. Wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. Is this the right one? No, it's not. What in the world? I should have gone under and over. I'm not driving 72 miles. <laughs> it's been a while, everybody. It's been a while. All right, we'll at least start over here. So this is C16 from Z Mods. Knight Rider, it's uh, W999W900L from uh, CT CTTM. Mods. Yeah, I didn't go under and over. I went over and that's it. Hey, man, it's been a while, man. It's been a while. Just going to say. I have an excuse. Y'all don't. 
favorite old school wipers? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, the NVD filter. Yeah, I haven't done any of that stuff. I thought about doing it. I just haven't done it. I probably won't. I, at some point, like, even I get tired of updating mods. Like, I totally get it, man, when people are like, yeah, I just don't want anything else to update. Like, I totally get it. I mean, it seems like these trucks are getting new updates all the time, and I'm like, oh, my gosh, it's another seven mods to load back in. And That's right, LCA. That's right, man. We all just got to pretend, man. Everybody expects realism here, but you now we'll go elsewhere. I don't care about realism there, man. Run it off the road. I want to laugh. Too much seriousness in FTG stream. I don't know. Should we fix the lights? Ah, I guess so. We'll go fix the lights. Y'all have such a problem with the lights. <laughs> it's a picking, of course. Let's see if we can get over there from right here. Yay, we didn't hit any walls. That's good. Got your PC fixed? Uh, do you think I'll have real access to his root? I, I would assume so, but honestly, uh, fish pants, John Ruta, for the most part, we just like, it just comes out. Like, he doesn't really give it to anybody. So, I mean, it's fine if he doesn't. Like, I'm not going to pitch fit about it. You know what I mean? Um, just so that we can all get on the same page here, I'm going to I'm gonna very quickly add in the correct ones that are, should be right here. It's my bad for, my bad for not doing this, but we're going to go ahead and, uh, add these lights in so that you guys will will now feel complete and there will be no uh, feelings of being left out I actually really like his uh, his bumper choices from the uh, if you guys are familiar with uh, the build we did the 900A in Alaska um, I really liked his bumpers in there and I was hoping that he would kind of bring that same style over here it's a little bit different it doesn't really work the same um, but uh, I was really hoping that he would have something very, very, very similar here. So, but anyway, it doesn't. It's okay. Um, here's what I was kind of talking about earlier. So you can change these, the inserts. You can change the dash colors. You can change the upper colors, the black, red, orange, blue. You got beige in here as well. Beige is actually a pretty color in this truck. Um, not that one. This one. Yeah, so you can do the beige color in here. It's kind of a it's kind of a classy color. Uh, if you don't like the orange, you know the orange kind of oranges it up. But that's this is kind of nice. I like the beige. But anyway, you got those kind of. Then you can do the dash. You can do the wheels. It's got a couple different steering wheels in here. You can add uh, wood floors, stuff like that. So it's it's a pretty good solid mod on the inside. And it's from what I can tell, um, uh, it's very it's very well optimized. Um, from what I, I can tell. A lot of people get scared of Rudas or some of the others thinking that their system can't run it. I can't promise you that you'll be able to run this one, but I would assume stacked up next to uh, Rudas, this truck would perform very well on the system. So, <laughs> That's pretty good, LCS. <laughs> That's pretty good. All right, let's see. I'm going to attempt... Um, under my better judgment because I typically don't do this during the stream. So let me um, detach this. Uh, I'm going to detach this and then I'm going to um, let's see uh, if it comes back. Let's see. It should be frozen. Yeah, we are. All right. If it doesn't, we'll be on this one and I'll make it single screen again. All right, so it did come back. So let me uh, let me just set these real quick, and then we can roll on. Twenty, yeah, I think. Let's let's see if it does the flicker again. Let me know if it does any more flickering, and then if it does, we'll just we'll just go with it and see what happens. So, oh, it needs a flat top. Well, I I think you know maybe eventually it may get that. 
Uh, I don't really know what all his development plans are for this one. Um, I know there's two trucks already, the half flat tops. Yeah, Ruta's got it, and uh, Colton's. Uh, if you guys got his truck, his has got a flat top as well. So, I love the fact that Z Mods W9 interior pack works with this truck. It's so nice. All right, let's go pick up some grain real quick now that we uh, finally got off uh, got off and running here. Uh, links in the description, Travis. You'll need to send him a Facebook uh, note. Uh, we'll say as people, you know, send him notes and stuff on Facebook. Um, let him know that you saw it in my stream uh, tonight, and uh, just want to pick up a copy of this one. And um, you know, the thing that I've, I've, I have ran into is some guys saying that he didn't sell them the mod because he didn't like the profile or something if you're using kind of a jack leg profile for your facebook purchases he's probably not going to sell it to you just because um, they're very protective of their mods and that's really up to him it's not up to me to make those decisions so if he doesn't sell it to you like there's nothing i can do about it and it's it's his mod and he can sell it i'm just trying to showcase what is out there you guys may want to check it out and if you don't totally cool totally cool but I figure, you know, we can see something different than, you know, one of the other, like, you know, 50, 15 mods that we always showcase here. So, yeah, we can we can shift to make them. You want it with the Jake or without? That makes a difference. Terminator, all the way from Australia. What's up, man? Picking up in the sell goods. Pick a grain up in the sell good. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> For you with the Jakes. <laughs> oh, I hate doing that with the Jake break on. Whatever for y'all, I'll do it. Whatever, whatever, whatever. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Going to Gillette. Gilletti. I love that, man. Oh. What's up, man? <laughs> hey, Jermaine, it's all right, man. I get it, dude. I get it. By the way, you guys, don't forget, we're going to be giving one of these away tomorrow night. If you look in the bottom right, that is a FTG Thermo, one of those, um, you know, uh, machined aluminum. It's not a Yeti. It's not a true Yeti, but it's about a 30 buck. Ah, 26, I think, is what I'm trying to sell it for. 
Um, that's like a, a dollar and a half profit maybe on these. They're kind of expensive. But anyway, it's a good cup. It's got Track Racer, Fanatec, and partners there with Fanatec and Digital Storm. So we're going to give one of those bad boys away tomorrow. And let's go ahead while I'm at it. Let's go ahead and set up a giveaway for you guys to uh, go ahead and enter for tonight because uh, we're going to give away one of um, give away one of these trucks tonight too. So um, if by chance you win tonight, you need to be here for one. You um, need to be here to win. And two is if you are – um, in the Discord, that's an easier place to do it. You can DM me your email address without publicly putting it in here. That's always a good, uh, you know, it's always a good thing. So make sure you do it through there. That's that's always uh, an easy part. It's just to do it through Discord. That way you can DM me personally your email address. And uh, and see if you want to, send me your Facebook profile, um, and then I will send that over to the guy over at CTTM Mods, and I will go ahead and uh, use the money Ghost Rider or Ghost Truck. Wait a minute, Ghost. What is it? Ghost Trucker. Yes, Ghost Trucker left for us, um, and then I'll pay for that mod so you won't own anything. And he should contact you with details on the truck and with, with your download links. That's the way it should work. So, if anybody was kind of questioning, well, how does how's the giveaway work? That's how it works. It's pretty pretty self explanatory on some of these. They're pretty easy. Um, all right, so I'm gonna set it up for 30 minutes. So if you can stay up for <laughs> 30 minutes. Uh, Let's see, a free copy of the CTTM Modding W900L Kenny. How about that? So we'll save that, and let's go ahead and start it. So in chat, it will tell you exactly what you should need to do, hopefully. Fingers crossed. We're hoping Streamlab works tonight. There it is. What's up, Bear? How are you, man? Zachary Brossert. What's up, buddy? <laughs> you rigged the giveaway for you, Ryder. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Contemplation, my friend. Contemplation. <laughs> so if you guys see it, hit the exclamation giveaway. That will put you in. Uh, all members get a two, get basically two entries. If you're a guy with the green, you get two entries. If you're a regular, anybody uh, can win at that point. You're all given uh, one, one, uh, one vote in. So... Just let you know uh, that the guys in the green get one extra for supporting the stream the way they do each month. So thank you guys. And if anybody asks a question right now, I am probably not going to catch it. So if you do ask one, just wait, and I'll answer it whenever the coast the clear uh, the coast clears on uh, on the giveaway. What's up, level side? Hey, it's going well, man. It is going well. I am curious. Hey, what's up, Brian the Electrician? What's up, my friend? How are you, man? I feel like it's been a few months, man. Hope you're doing well. I'm curious how many have bought Wyoming and what your overall, what your overall, uh, not idea is whether or not you like it or not. Thank you there, Dalton Bill. Appreciate the sponsor, man, as well. Brand new first month of members. Thank you there, Dalton. Appreciate it, bud. <laughs> so what's up, El Toro? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Hmm. 
Bit like, it's all right, man. It's all right. Thank you there, Hunter McDonald, and uh, wow, allegation, wow, wow, that's crazy. Corey Shorts, thank you there, appreciate it, sub man. Some crazy names there, man. Why am I on eight? It does look. I told you, everybody was like, "No, nah, it looked different." And I'm like, "No, <laughs> it looks exactly the same." Except for you know, there's a few places where it doesn't, but. I got no stop line. I guess we'll just stop here. And we got no we got no stop crossing line where we're supposed to stop. <laughs> Wasn't impressed by me. <laughs> I knew some people would like it, some people wouldn't. It is um Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Uh you know, I, I kinda hated like, you know, some people uh sent me some DMs on Discord. It was like, hey, I thought you should see that SES, you know, threw up their blog of creators, and you know, you were, <laughs> you were, you were messed up, crossed again, and I was like, well, I really didn't give it glowing remarks, so because I, I didn't kiss their butt, I didn't make it on their blog, so I was because I just didn't really like it that much. I, I guess there's parts of it that's really good, and I think I, I get a little spoiled to some of these other creator maps. Um, we kind of talk a, and do a lot of stuff with like Team Reforma. Great America's really coming a long way. Uh, and so these guys are really doing really, really, really great work. That uh, So I think what it is is I expect, you know, things to be even better on the SES version. And, and I find out I'm kind of disappointed that they're not. So, I don't know. Maybe that's just me, man. Well, see, that's the thing. I, I don't, I don't want to put anybody into that, you know, Texas will be better. Because what if it's not? I mean, what if Texas is as flat as Wyoming and looks no different from it? Or New Mexico, or it looks like New Mexico, and it's flat. How many people are gonna be mad? They're gonna be like, what's up? You know, so it's like, at what point, you know, I think you have to stop uh, expecting that things are gonna be that much better, you know, maybe. Yeah, yeah, Alan, I, I would agree with that. It's definitely not as big as, uh, you know, stateside as what uh, Colorado is. Let's uh, let's enjoy some sunsets of JBX. Look at this, man. Look at that. Ah, that is why you get JBX, that right there. The only reason is because of the sunrises and sunsets are absolutely ridiculous. And if, <clears throat> if you wanted a mod, you said, man, I've only got 50 bucks. I need one truck and I need one other mod. No trailer mods, no truck mods, no anything is going to get you that right there. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you got to pay for that, man. You got to pay for that. It's good stuff, man. That was A. Silva. What's up, man? Yeah, I'll be, I'll be interested in Lieutenant Dan. I mean, I just didn't give it glowing remarks. Um, I, I thought there's pieces of this that's really, really, really good. Um, and it, maybe it's just, you know, there's a lot of people said they nailed Wyoming. I think I think we were expecting something different. And I'll tell you, I was expecting a lot of things in the more mountainous section. Because it is a lot like Colorado. That northeastern section down is really supposed to be a lot more mountainous. And you've got the Grand Tetons up there. And I just was like... Wow, like we're not really close or like really into any of that. <laughs> so <clears throat> I was a little bit disappointed on some of it. Um, some of it was really good. So, but I, I definitely don't think it's the best they ever did. I, I still think Washington, and I still think Washington and Colorado were two of the best DLCs they ever did. And I would even put them up, you know, maybe to some ETS ones, but definitely not Italy and the Scandinavian. Italy and the Scandinavian DLCs were impeccable. They were absolutely gorgeous. Um, and I thought Colorado was a slam dunk from an alley oop from LeBron James. Like it was good. I just thought, and I think part of it too was we sit around and waited for nine or ten months for it. You know, I think waiting for ten months for it to look exactly like something else, I think, left a salty taste in people's mouth. Uh, understandable. Understandable. I get it. What's up, John McDonald? Hello. That's right, Thunder Diesel. Yeah, man. He just. Uh, I think he just sent out the pre-order like what yesterday or the day before, man. Yeah, Colorado was crazy good, man. It was really good. <laughs> Justin, that's hilarious. It's really a boring state IRL, so yeah, I wasn't expecting a miracle. 
Yeah, fair enough, man. Fair enough. I just, I wouldn't get on the bandwagon and say this is, you know, the, the best DLC that's ever been done. And, you know, I, I'm here for honesty, man. If you don't like honesty, there's there's another channel to go sub to. <laughs> Fill your head with all this, all the sweet nothings you want to hear. <laughs> oh, man. FTG's on a roll tonight. It's extra salt. Not really. I don't know though. They haven't, you know, level. They haven't. Uh, they haven't said that that Wyoming's. I mean, that uh, Montana's coming out before Texas. So I don't know that it will. To be honest with you, I was trying to trying to keep you guys over here on this sunset, man. The sunset's lasting forever. Hmm. It's good stuff right there, man. <laughs> Well, Lieutenant Dan. Well, you know what? I mean, to be fair, um, to be fair, I've, I've I have spent uh, a good bit, but uh, the 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 rig that I'm sitting in is a sponsored rig from Track Racer. So I've I've worked pretty hard uh, and decided that my streaming content was going to provide for my gaming content type deal, you know. And so that's uh, you know worked extra hard to try to make the money in streaming and. You know, putting back into the community with honest, uh, you know, honesty on on both sides of all of the uh, the stuff that is the world of whatever video game I'm playing, and, uh, and yeah, so I've just I enjoy the build, man. It's kind of like guys have cars and then they'll change up something they don't necessarily have to, but I enjoy just the build and uh, trying to make the setup a little bit better. You know, each month you know goes by, I try to get a little new piece or something here. It's been a constant build, man, for like two years man i haven't stopped so i should have grabbed a pick yeah it'll be all right there'll be another one wait they'll sun up that'll be another good pick guess we should probably turn here let's go ahead and let's grab that let's grab that turn oh and they're stopping I should turn my braking force down quite a bit. I may have gone too far. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, great, great America, man. He did a good job with it. Um, I like Great America. Uh, which one's on? Let's see what our brights look like. Hey, he's got good brights on this one, at least. Yeah, I might, I might need to up that that braking power. Whoops, wrong, wrong one. <coughs> there we go. Who's drinking this? KW900. Look at you. Uh, it's the uh, W900L from CTTM Mods. Modding, whatever. <laughs> Thank you there, Brian. Yeah, man. It's uh, There's no way. There's no way I could have convinced the wife to let me build all this, you know, without some sort of like, you're going to have to do something for that. You can't just go out and buy that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that would just wouldn't happen. I've been I've been where you guys are. <laughs> Probably at like 30% Freightliner. Probably needs to be a, 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 just a touch higher. <laughs> uh, the last video. Uh, the last video, yes, it was a 389, and that's the Roland 389. That's the most expensive truck mod. I don't necessarily know if that's the one you want. If it is, uh, just shoot me a DM on uh, shoot me a DM on uh, what you call it on uh, the Discord. That's a little dark, ain't it? Let's let's get on let's get on this one here. <laughs> I like skin on this one. It's kind of classic, uh, a classic skin on this thing. It's still getting good sunset clouds over there. Shifter knob was a custom, Kate. Uh, it was a custom made by a really good friend of mine. 
And uh, so I bought a uh, really, really nice real shifter, and he did some uh, some milling out, did some machine work for it, and um, and it's a one of a kind custom, I'd say. There are a few they can buy that are kind of like it, but they don't. They're not the they're not the actual machine billet aluminum. They're like the kind of the, the plastic chrome and uh, plastic chrome stuff, like the chrome piece, the thin chrome, you know, the cheaper chrome. Mainly just for cost effectiveness. I mean, some of these guys, there's no way they can make some of that stuff at the price they charge for it. No way. They do have a mod for that Otora, but I don't run it. Um, it's not in this one. You get some stars, you get the moon starting to come up over there in the, in the picture, but uh, the sky is not very well done in ATS, to, uh, to be honest with you. What's up, Owen Farms? How are you, man? Yeah, we're 57, Robert. We're not too far, man. <laughs> I figured a couple, uh, figure a month or so, month and a half, we'll be up close to 60. Knocking on his door anyway. <laughs> Yuck, night driving. <laughs> yeah, it's even worse in Wyoming. Um, I only had 136 miles. I was going to. At least the uh, people's, you know, at least when we do these, I like to kind of showcase the, just the night look of the truck, you know, the way the lights look on it, the way the headlights and stuff look and brake lights and all that good stuff. You know, some people like it. Some people don't mind driving at night. I, I don't like driving night on the stream. I don't mind doing it, you know, in the game, but I'm not streaming. But we can change that right now, so... What's up, Molly Trucker? How are you, man? Thomas, hello. Yeah, I actually see it, and I, I know. I actually, uh, I had reshade on a few things, but I didn't put reshade back into, uh, I didn't put reshade back into the, into the mix this time. I just, I don't know, for whatever reason, I didn't want to. All right, so I'm going to put it at like, I don't know, 530. Put it at like 5:30. If we got it, let's see. Um, all right, all right. So we should be letting the uh, let sun come up, come up behind us there. Yeah, I mean, it's it's all right. I just don't like doing it for a live stream, especially not in Wyoming, man, because it's like pitch black out here through 90% of this, it feels like. At least that's, that's the way I feel about it. It's not really that way. What's the giveaway? Uh, if you look up uh, about three, uh, about three there, you'll see it. Uh, Streamlabs, a free copy there of the CTTM modding W900. So we're giving away one of these trucks that we're showcasing tonight. A courtesy of Mr. Uh, Ghost Trucker 60. So thank you there, Sunel, as well, man. $20 super chat there from Mr. Sunel. Appreciate it, buddy. Awesome, man. Thank you guys very, very, very much. So we'll do a drawing on that. So make sure exclamation giveaway. Uh, if you've got a uh, if you've got the, a hunkering for this truck and you wouldn't mind like to have one in your garage, then go and make sure you enter up. What's up, Jay? How are you, man? This truck is not free, Cody. There's really not any trucks that I showcase anymore that are free. Um, the only one that I do want to do is that HX. <coughs> oh my goodness! Excuse me. 
is the HX off of the um, Steam Workshop. The one that Harvin just did. I want to showcase that one. It's a really good, solid truck. <laughs> what you get east of San Antonio gets better. Well, fair enough. I guess there's probably a lot of states like that, especially through the Midwest. You know, the thing is, we're we're about to have some very unexciting places to go visit uh, in uh, ATS scenery, because uh, the Dakotas um, are actually pretty nice, uh, even though you don't have a lot. They're very scenic, um, <clears throat> but once you get through the Midwest, you have pretty much big cities and nothing else around them. So I'll be interested to see uh, how those packs come, whether or not we get them in like, you know, clumps like uh, the, the Dakotas DLC where you get north and south, or whether or not we're going to these states, because their states are going to get considerably smaller once they get past Montana, um, once they get past Montana and Texas. So the only other comparison would be something like Washington, and there is a ton of roads in Washington. So I don't know, it'd be interesting to see how they develop that on the Midwest side. Um, Lens 27, yeah, I, I normally do. I normally use uh, JBX. Now that he's got it updated and everything's solid and it's working pretty much with uh, everything that I use, yeah, I, I pretty much all the time use it now. So, Thank you there, Alex Brown. Appreciate it, man. The new uh, sponsor there, man. Appreciate it. Got a couple of new sponsors tonight, so thank you guys. Appreciate it. Thank you there, Alex. Nice. Nice, Cave. Very good, man. They're not anymore, Patrick. I ain't turned them off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the HX520, it is a good truck. I was actually looking at it today, and I was like, you know, I mean, yeah, I know it's kind of like half fleetish, half like not. It's still a really solid. It's still a solid mod. I like it. Uh, JBX is back. It's a $3 update if you already bought it. Uh, and then if you, if you didn't, wait a minute. So it's a $3 update um, because he had to redraw everything because, you know, when they when they did the last update, they updated a, a lot inside of the graphics and the lighting, which threw him all off. <laughs> I'll actually say I think his, bonnet, his, um, his mod now is better than it used to be. Um, I think it looks better. It looks cleaner. The skies look better. Um, and they look more like they're part of the game and not some, you know, randomly high res texture just kind of thrown on the top of SES's map so there's only two flat glasses that I know of boosted um, and and I don't have Henry's so I can't really tell you I have Colton's and it doesn't have a lot on it it's a great truck but it's a modern flat glass and Henry's is an old-school Kenworth flat glass flat glass so you really can't compare them because you may not like the modern you know because um, it's got a modern interior on it, like a like a new W9 would have. So, and Henry's is is a little bit different. So, uh, Kenya, all mine is uh, from Zmods. Zmods.com. That's where these came from. Uh, C16 is what I'm running tonight, which is pretty much what I run in most of my trucks now. I like that one, the 34 6B. Those are two killer sound packs that I like. Enjoyable. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's already seven, so we still got a little bit of sunrise. So we got eighty miles. So I'll just kind of, I'll kind of slow truck it through here. It's uh, it's very, very, very nice. I like the orange too on the dash. It's kind of a nice, kind of a nice, nice color. Belly seventy five. What's up? What's up there, Jay Allen? Good to see you, man. Oh, there you go, Don. Yeah, man. Very good, man. Um, Project Next. No, I have not because when I last tried Project Next, it was only available for ETS. And then as soon as I went to download it, uh, ATS did a big update, and we were covering like 140, 141, and Project Next Gen was like 138 or 9 at the time. And so that's when they did the lighting update, and then I never got back into it. So I... 
wanted to try it, but I never did. But from what I could see for free, I think Project Next Gen was free. Um, it looked pretty solid. I just uh, it had been a while since they'd had a, an ATS update. Someone wanted me to do Jamaican shifting with the brake on. Nice, you're gonna let me go there. Take it there, Megan or Rocha Rocha. Is that Roca? Depends on where that's uh, originated there. Yes, Kitty does growl through the Jake. Does. Big, big, big time. I think that's why I like this. Uh, I, that's why I like this engine so much, man. It's such a beast. I feel like I get the mic like really close. It's alright though. <laughs> Doc just a guy is. Is that what we had? I think we had... Yeah, stage two is by far the best sounding one, but it has no stopping power. So I guess, you know... <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> it's kind of... I thought that car was going. I love these. Uh, I love these new style mirrors, man. He, he modeled some new style mirrors in there, man. I actually like those a lot. It's like they've got the proper FOV on the side, so like you can see all the way down the side of the mirror. It's really nice. You know, most of them, uh, if they're SES mirrors, it's like they. It gets you right up next to the exhaust pipe, and that's all you see. <clears throat> Thanks, Sledge. <laughs> Less stopping power equals more Jake noise. Yeah, pretty much. I think that's probably why, uh, why I had it in stage two anyway. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we got JBX in right now. We're kind of in the in the clear, kind of hazy morning. Sun's on the other side. Let me uh, let me switch to this one. Yeah, so there's our JBX. Whoa, hello! Oh yeah, look at that! Look at that thing rocking. Yes, we have a chick driver. I got tired of looking at the old boy up there. Decided I would put a chick up there <laughs> for y'all's viewing pleasure. Yeah, here we are, Devil's Tower. So this is one of the big ones in Wyoming. It's one of the big things that they made. So there's that. One of the things that I do like that I, a lot of people don't know of, Winnicky, thank you there, appreciate the sub, man. Um, one of the things about the JBX mod is you'll notice that I don't have any blurring. As he has like this, dis it disables uh, the level of detail that ATS puts on it to curb people's systems so that you don't overuse your system. But if you have a nice high-end system, um, then you typically will have this infinite uh, ability to look ahead in the in the 
distance and you'll be able to see whoops whoops whoop. We're trying to do that oh no do that backwards and we almost went too far but it disables all that level of detail blurring in the front so um, it's actually kind of nice when you're looking off in the distance everything's like clear like if you had good eyesight I like the I like the suspension on this truck. <coughs> it rides really <coughs> it rides really good. Austin, what's up man? Good to see you, bud. Alright, let's see where our oh there's our drop. What's up, Jeff? How are you, man? <laughs> That's all someone would say, hey, and I almost missed it, man. I was sitting over here just uh, just pumping the gas, man. <laughs> Having too much fun, really. Probably was probably my fault. <laughs> all the way from South Africa. What's up, Kevin? Nothing legit. There it is, man. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, the great bush nail, I know, right? <laughs> it's all good, though. Oh, uh, yeah, St. Thomas, I saw that. Man. Lucky, lucky. That's nice, man. That's a nice That's a nice vacay there, man. Q's Mine Trucks. Uh, what's up, man? I see the check mark, so what's up? Uh, Corbin. So this one is uh, this one's from CTTM Mods. Uh, same guy that did the uh, the W900A. So it's kind of a more of a generic W900. It's more of a kind of a workhorse type truck rather than the custom slam truck that we always do. So I gotta say, Jeff, I'm a little uh, I'm a little jealous of the Flight Sim Expo. I <laughs> I gotta say, man, I would actually I really like to be at that. <laughs> oh, uh, I don't have any Flight Sim friends to go with. Nobody plays flight sim like like legit anymore. They kind of do, but then they get frustrated with it, and then they get mad because it updates, and they can't play it anymore. <laughs> so it's like, <sighs> yeah, but I, you know, playing uh, X Plane since '06, you know, it actually uh, you know, sparked me to go get my own license. So it's kind of like you know, it's like it, it's a it's a part of you know. Once you get that way, I, I, you're the same way. I think you've got your pilot's license. So it's like, man, I would I would yeah, Oof. oh. <sighs> David, what's up, man? Got to stop talking about it. We'll have to fire up Microsoft Flight Sim right now. <laughs> yeah, Johnny, it is, man. What's up, David? Good to see you, man. Uh, David, all the way over in the uh, United Kingdom. So it's always good to see David in chat. It's always super late for him as well. Ah, uh, yeah, man. Yeah, I'd love to, man. Um, I certainly would. We've, um, I've, I've, I've been trying to get back in and part of it's just for me is a, is a time I won't say a delay it's not a delay it's just a time constraint I'm trying to figure out how to fit all my stuff in at night <laughs> so all the things I want to do and then you got to change up the the got to change up the rig some to get you get you stuff up there since I'm not on the table anymore so it's all good though 
I am, David. I am, buddy. I guess we can go over to Chadron, uh, Nebraska. This will be part of the Nebraska um, Great America. Sorry, not the Nebraska. I almost said the uh, Nebraska uh, add-on. But, yes. So you at least get, uh, with Great America, Iowa, South Dakota, Nebraska, and a little snippet of Kansas that he added in to give you some uh, uh, you know, co- so, uh, compatibility there with Colorado. So uh, actually strengthens out that, um, I think that uh, 80 down there, actually you can go down from Cali all the way to the Iowa 80, which is a, is a ridiculously long ride. So I think for guys thinking, oh, I can't wait, I'll go cross country. Man, it's going to take you forever to do a cross country. But, you know, some people, that's what they want. It's what they want. All right. Oh, look at there. We get to actually pick up, uh, pick up in bush now. <clears throat> Work in morning early. <laughs> What's up, Royal Stars? Let's see. Here. I should have dipped. I hate the fact that you can't. I wish SCS would let you in the menus, go back, and if you're picking up at the same place, don't have to go back out here to this check and then pick it up again. Like just go in, especially if it's cargo, just go ahead and lay it out there so you can just pick it up and just run your pace over. Kind of hate that. Because now we got to back this sucker all the way up. Which is fine. Yeah, they do it. It's just annoying. They had the Biggs. That guy named Biggs. Oh, that's the Biggs. That was off of, uh, well, some of you are too young to know, but if y'all ever saw I'm going to get you sucker. Anybody know I'm going to get you sucker? Y'all know that, that movie? It was one of the Wayans first uh, spoof movies. It's hilarious. Anyway, that was that guy's name, Mr. Biggs. <laughs> yeah. And probably you're not going to have enough space to do this. So let me see if I can. Where's it at? Where's it at back here? Oh, okay. So we do need to do a. Okay. Let's uh, let's try that again. We can do that. We can do it. Now, now I know where actually where I'm going. It's fine. We're going to take out the station wagon. Maybe. I didn't cut that one enough, did we? And no. All right, one more shot. I refuse the dev console to a relatively easy back end. Out there. Mario, thank you, the man. And Siblis? Siblis, maybe? I want to say syllabus, but that's not it. Thank you there for your sub and Mario coming in second. Thank you, man. All right, let's give us another world. Let's cut a little closer to that tank and we'll be fine. Hey, uh, Jeff, if you're still in stream, I want you to see uh, you don't have to do anything special for me. Maybe just shoot me a message or something and let me know if these guys are up there. I was trying to watch... Trying to keep up with some of these uh, guys that are doing like the legit cockpits, like the the replicas, you know. I'm interested if uh, Sismo Simula Simulaciones Simulations. It's just uh, I don't know if it's Brazilian or if it's like uh, Portuguese, because it's not like the Spanish pronunciation for it. So I think they're Spain. So that'd be Portuguese. Or no, would it? Yeah, maybe it would. I'll see if they're there or Scarlarky. Those are the ones, man. Do I like the Freightliner? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I do. We were just talking about that earlier in the stream. I pretty much uh, everything that um, most of the stuff that I do is generally on the, the bigger style trucks for American Truck. But I don't mind the fleets. Um, I just, it's like I, I want them to have good sounds. 
and that's really it. Like, if it sounds like a legit truck, then I'm 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 good for it. Like, I'm I'm cool. And I actually like them. I like the Western Star. Um, I've done skins for all those. I think they look really good with the reefer. If you want to get the the interstate miles in, like I'm, I'm, I'm with it. I think it gets aggravating in ATS because the scale is so small. Like I, I don't mind role playing either. I don't mind role playing, uh, you know, like the the mid roof uh, on a Cascadia or a Western Star. I see a lot of Freightliner Cascadias around here with mid roofs that are doing like low beds of lumber. Uh, not necessarily tree logs or any kind of stuff like that, but um, you know, doing some pretty legit, um, you know, le legit loads. Whether it, it could be stuff like simple as pallets, lumber loads, cut lumber that they've uh, harvested and cut. Um, and I see tons of other stuff in my area running around with flatbeds and stuff. But I think an ATS just feels weird because the scale is so small. Like, if you're going to drive a couple hundred miles in cities and stuff, like, after a while, man, it just, you don't get any road to, like, stretch your legs on and just, like, go fast for a while, you know? So then it gets frustrating to me. So then I wind up pulling these and, like, cruising down the road. That way I don't have to stop every bit. It just gets annoying. A one-to-one -one map, totally different. If you ever get a chance, check out Project Japan on ETS2. Project Japan is free on ETS2, and it is mind-blowing, mind-blowing. It's a little bit less. I think they've changed some of the scaling on that. Uh, but ETS has got a lot of like one to one, one to three map ratios, and they're insane. You know, it takes you an hour to run 60 kilometers, which is crazy. Too long, actually. Yeah, it needs better sounds. I do know that Z mods and some of that stuff is coming, so uh, just a matter of time. Without spoiling anything, he's got about four or five different engines now that he's got the pipe working on so should be nice man Mikey Boo what's up yeah that's it man uh oh Peter Bell 3, 379 16 uh, no, I'm just kidding man I'm not going to do that to you RNG Gaming what's up man uh, you can uh, send the guy a message in the description if you're interested in it uh, hit him up and um, tell me, hey, man, FTG streaming your truck right now. I'd love to pick this thing up. Tell me how I can buy, where to send the money. <laughs> I'll, uh, I guess we go to the inside, showcase it around a little bit. I'm a little, little close in this view because we're uh, typically doing a three wide, but it's got a nice interior. Um, let me roll the window up just for a minute. I will also say, if any of you guys are planning on grabbing this truck, make sure that you join the Facebook group. Um, if you just buy the truck, it will not look exactly like mine. And all of the skins, all of the colors for the dashboards, all of the extra little add-on mods that the, he offers with this truck, they're all in his Facebook group. So, um, And they just come as like separate single downloads. So he'll like say, hey, redid the colors on the dash today and then offer, like I've got the Texas marker for the trailer brake and parking brake. And he said uh, he's got some for Caterpillar, for Cummins, and you just pick out which mod you want, activate it, and it changes the knobs on the truck. So they're not full truck updates. So if you guys are like, well, my truck don't look like FGs, join the group and download the mods. And it's a fairly small group. It's not large. So, and uh, from what I can tell, man, he, he runs a pretty tight ship, and uh, he keeps it, you know, keeps it pretty close close when it comes to that but they're um, you know it does good work the trucks are good they run well they're well optimized I haven't run any, any kind of like major issues with these so it's it's pretty good so <coughs> American truck and life convoy was a bad uh, I had to pop up after I bought it and downloaded Z mods eh, Z mods should come in your email their YouTube mechanic should <laughs> you never use Facebook. Oh, uh, unfortunately, that's uh, yeah. <laughs> I have a love hate with Facebook. I don't like it. Like I can't stand it. Like I love Instagram, and uh, we started a page up for that, and I love it because I can just share pictures and share stories, and people tag me and stuff. I can just automatically share it. Uh, I just hate the Facebook drama that comes in this stuff, and I can't. I can't honestly fathom why so many ATS guys want to deal with the drama in the Facebook groups but for some odd reason they do 
and uh, <laughs> so I have a love hate like I, I stay in it as long as I need to and then I'm out peace out boys we'll see you later we're gone oh oh shoot hang on you guys didn't say anything uh, let's resume entries if you have not entered uh, into the giveaway for, <laughs> for this truck uh, yeah my bad guys wow all right, so if you haven't entered in, uh, I want to go ahead and resume entries. Once we get to this one here, let's go ahead and let's do our giveaway. How about that? I almost forgot about that on the last one. My bad. I'll, I'll assume full responsibility for that one. <laughs> ah, Kingston. They could. That's the problem. They could, but they don't. Probably why I didn't get an early copy of Wyoming. <laughs> hey, we can't give it to that guy. He's too honest about it. We don't have enough lips pressed to our cheeks. <laughs> oh! Hashtag not salty. Hashtag not salty. The guy with 200 subs got a copy. <laughs> Oh, I laugh about it now. Laugh about it now. Um, so, yeah. So, what happened here? Uh, I'm supposed to go this way. I must have to hop the barrier. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Let's see where we go. This could be scary, guys. Exit means we're not supposed to go this way. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I probably won't get anything now. Able the Dev Console, um, and I've got a video on my YouTube page. If you get down to the bottom, uh, that is a, a great little, it's a great little help on uh, getting yourself down to the uh, to the Dev Console, and it works great to get out of uh, a little precarious positions like that. So. Hey, Jumpy Vibes, what's up, man? Thank you, buddy. All right, so we got 150 miles, and then we're going to go ahead and grab a download. So, oh, look at that. We're going on the backside of Devil's Tower. So, <laughs> they, they didn't model the backside too well. It's got to put it together. South Dakota. Alec Nelson, thank you, bud. Oh man, I like how YouTube is finally telling us how long you guys have been members for. So, thank you there, Talon More Set. Appreciate it, man. Six month first gear member. Thank you, buddy. It's about flipping time. <laughs> oh, so. After time with Wyoming, so that's probably why I didn't wind up in the SES blog, because <laughs> I just thought it looked exactly like the east part of Colorado, and I kind of, you know, probably said some stuff in the stream I probably shouldn't have, <laughs> but I was, I was just like, you know, it looks just like it, and I don't understand why we had to wait 10 months for this. To be fair, there were good parts of Wyoming um, that, uh, that I liked. Uh, thank you there, Abel. Appreciate it, man. Uh, there were some parts that I liked. Um, I, I, I don't know. I guess because I've never been. I was expecting something different in Wyoming. I was expecting a little bit more of a scenic, uh, scenic pass type deal where you have these roads that are built in, cut in. Kind of like Colorado where they're iconic. And it's just got these rock faces. And it's like you've actually got to climb in the truck. And you've got to descend. And 
Uh, it just feels like Wyoming is just all flat. I know it's not, um, and I think there's some things they did well, but, I mean, overall, I was, nah. I still, I told the chat before you got in here, um, still my favorite two uh, DLCs they did was Washington and, and Colorado. I think that's by far the two best ones they've ever did. Knocked them out of the park. I just thought Wyoming was meh. You know, it's like, yeah, it's, it's good. It's more roads. Um, it just, I don't know. It's just something about it. Plus, I'm probably carrying a little bit extra salt to that apple pie. You know. Sorry. Yeah, it did have the same color palette. Yeah, I mean, and I, and I get it. It's uh, very, very similar to that. But I felt like it was flat compared to Colorado. I felt like it didn't have any kind of variation to it, which I really wanted. And I was really waiting for, like... Uh, SCS to like really do something like really cool with one of these maps where they actually add in some some really nice climbs and some challenging parts to the road where it's not just running up a gradual hill you know that a 200 horsepower Freightliner can get up and that you might actually have to have some muscle to get up it you know I don't know maybe, maybe I'm asking for too much I don't know I mean I obviously I am or if I did it, it'd already be done I don't know what else to say to that. <laughs> but you own self in the foot here. <laughs> yeah, Wyoming is desert. Yeah, well, I mean, I know part of it is not all of it, though. Not all of Wyoming is desert, um, especially not the northeast part. Um, the part that got the least amount of stuff is, like, the prettiest and the biggest. But it didn't get anything. It kind of got your explore at your own rate, you know, Jellystone. I know it's not Jellystone, but you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I, it's the thing. I mean, I've got one in Colorado. There's a really nice, you know, uh, a really nice up there on Colorado coming up. Uh, but that's like the only one in the game. Uh, Idaho, I take that back. Idaho's got a couple of good ones. Now, you wouldn't expect that, but Idaho's got a couple of really nice little uh, climbs and sits coming out of Lewiston. Uh, that's a really nice, uh, a nice little pass through there. Colorado obviously has some. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I guess even Colorado is I expected a little bit more and just the, I don't know. I can't say that, though. I can't say that. That's not fair because Colorado's got multiple ones in there. We just haven't driven them in a while because we drove them, like, every day for what it seemed like, you know, two months. So, oh, Husky, I hear you, man. Well, I guess congrats, Renor. That's a, that's a big it's a big step, man. It's like doing your first lines of crack or cocaine. It'll be lots of crap, baby. <laughs> well, like everything else is like a puff puff pass, but that's that's like that's the legit drugs there. That that getting by and rolling, that's the your legit gateway right there, man. You're in it. You're going to jail for a long time, somebody catches you with that one, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, okay. Alright. Better watch what I say for YouTube throws me off there. Alright, 89 miles we're gonna give one of these bad boys away. Uh, W900L here from uh, CTTM Modding. Uh, there is a very small duo, uh, and they've done some really good. Uh, it's really good work on the W900. If you saw my last video, um, they did the W900A with that one, the W900L with this one, and then we're going to showcase um, here pretty soon. Well, they've got a 378. We're going to throw that up there. Uh, maybe give one of those away. Let you guys check that one out. It's really nice. Like a 78, 79, and 89 extended hood, short hoods, and like an everything. So that one, if you're looking for like custom ability and like options to do stuff, man, there's so much to do with that truck. It's 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 a good one, especially for you Peterbilt fans. It's got a lot. Thank you there, CJ George. Thanks for the sub, man. Alec Nelson, I don't think I maybe it maybe I shouted you out, but it. Thank you, bud. Uh, yeah, Chase, I hope I just said that, yeah. So make sure if you guys haven't, if you haven't seen it there, make sure you hit the exclamation giveaway and get entered into that giveaway for uh, for this truck. So once we get 75 miles, we get to our destination. Uh, we'll call it a night, and we'll give one of these bad boys away. So make sure you are here to win. And you have a valid Facebook profile. If you don't have a valid Facebook profile, you won't get it. They, they deal strictly out of Facebook, so... It's a nice little, uh, nice little mountain stuff over here. Well, I guess I'll have to take you back out. 
Nice little uh, mountain up there on the tip top. We need to go down and uh, we need to check out Reforma, man. We need to get down into Mexico sometime. I have not been to Mexico in quite some time. What's up, Tashinga? How are you, buddy? Jake Lattimandir. What's up, man? Mr. Sweet, hello. Hope you guys are doing well, man. It's good to see y'all, man. It's been a while. Not like a week and a half since the stream, so. Y'all make sure you follow me on IG, man. The Gram or Insta, whichever age range you are, depends on how you call it. It's either the IG or the Gram or Insta. I'm actually the most active on that. I don't do Facebook at all. Can't stand it. <clears throat> Oops, looks like we might miss this one. Hey, yeah, no problem there, man. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Well, I, I typically always show people, I always show people, like, I, I, mean, I always show people the, the payware stuff. Uh, but sometimes people, if they're brand new to this, they don't really even know where the free stuff is, you know? So let's try to spread it out there and showcase you a, a good free version, a good payware version that, that still makes the game sound good. There's nothing wrong with it. It still sounds good. Did you keep hard mind? there. <laughs> Instagram like a boomer. <laughs> uh, I, I'll probably, uh, I'll probably say Instagram. Yeah, I mean, this is what it is. I don't necessarily look at it as like. I probably say Insta more, and that probably, that probably says more about me and my age than it does anything else. Because I think the new kids on the block call it the Gram. You know, because they have to be different. We can't call it what our, you know, older siblings call it. We have to call it the growing up. <laughs> All right, Chadron, here we come. And, and, you know, to think about it, like, this is kind of crazy. Like, this is great America. Like, we're coming up to Nebraska. Like, we're not even an SES country anymore. And it looks incredible for one person to do all this. It looks great. I'm impressed, man. I'm impressed with what he does with this map. I mean, to be a one-man band and be able to, to do all this, man, I'm like, you know, he's, he's, done a, he's done a really good job trying to bring this map, bring it all together, you know. I mean, I've seen this map probably since the 1.4 reiterations, and uh, and he has come a long way on this map, a long, long, long way. Yeah, the Graham, I know, that's what everybody calls it. It's what all the cool kids call it anyway, so, you know. Call it IG. <laughs> Uh, so RGB game, uh, RNG gaming. Um, so in my, and this is if you're if you're in my Discord, and it's easy on my Discord. Uh, up on the mod side, on the left side, if you go up, or there's the welcome section. There's there's a FAQ section. Inside there is mod maps, um, and they're payware maps. This is a Patreon, so you get updates. Plus, there's like four different add-ons he's got to it, um, which are actually really good. He's got a Las Vegas one. He's got a Utah one, and I think one other one. Uh, but those are like kind of like addition mods that you can run in. Um, but I've got it in that section. Um, and if you find any other map, actually, you know what? Type in exclamation great AM. Exclamation great AM. Type that in, RG. That should hook you up, brother. Oh, I knew that. I knew it. Oh. Well, at least they get out of the way. Yeah, I think it's Great A-M. G-R-E-A-T-A-M. With an exclamation on the front end of it. Like their national force. Let's see, it, let's see if it pops up. I don't think I... There it is. So there, there's the Patreon for it if you're interested in it. 
He's got a couple different levels of, of support, but even the basic one gets you Great America. And he's really good about updating it. I think Wyoming it had been out a week, and he already had the update for this one, which is really, which is actually really fast. Solid map. You get all the way to Iowa, so you get South Dakota, you get Nebraska, a little bit of Kansas. Kansas is going to be the next full one that he's going to do because he's going to be able to tie that into New Mexico and Texas. <clears throat> Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Did I miss something? Oh, okay. I was about to say, we're, we're, we're going to be in trouble. Oklahoma yet. No, not yet. It's the book. <laughs> yeah, I'll show, you, I'll show you what it looks like. Um, so he is wrong. Here we go. Um, so you'll be able to um, – he's going to have some more in in, uh, in Kansas up. So this is what he's got right now. Uh, he used to have Wyoming, but you can get the Montana expansion, which is really good from Recon Lobster. Uh, it's compatible with that. And then it connects down here into Wyoming. And then obviously you've got uh, Nebraska, South Dakota. You've got Iowa. Uh, and then a little snippet down here of Kansas. And then his like – I don't have the Vegas one in. The Vegas adds in stuff outside of Vegas, like a bunch of connector roads, and then he's got the Greater Utah, which adds a ton of stuff on the inside um, and creates a nice little highway system in between these main the main roads that we have that SES gave us. So he's actually added in quite a bit of these, uh, all these little middle ones right here that cut you in between the two. So it's it's a it's solid and it works with Team Reforma. Um, I don't think he works with uh, Coast to Coast, so he works with like Team Reforma, Sierra Nevada. All that's in there, um, Montana. So you can pretty much get most of all of Mexico and then most of the West there, minus Texas and Oklahoma. So it's a, it's it's solid, man. It's a good good solid map. Did a good job. And it's just one dude. So he actually had everything was free, and then everybody was nasty about it, the butthole about it. And so he said, "All right, well, fine." <laughs> and he did what all of them did. He just went payware. It's kind of the unfortunate part because, uh, unfortunately, uh, gaming itself has lost a lot of, um, you know, gaming itself is just the communities have severed on a lot of platforms. Um, the people aren't nice anymore when people do free mods. They're always wanting something more. They didn't do enough to satisfy them in an update or they're not this, they're not that. So, you know, BART used to be free. Um, he used to do a ton of free stuff, and, you know, even he went payware, of course, like all the rest of the guys, and said, well, I guess if I'm going to have to deal with the bad complaints and the bad mouths, then I just might as well get paid to do it, you know. Can't blame them there. Miguel, hola, saludos de Argentina. Hola, saludos de Unidos Estados and Carolina de Norte. There you go. That's that's where I'm from. I think of that as Estados Unidos. Yeah, I, 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 said, I said Estados wrong. <laughs> well, <laughs> that is really bad. I know, I know, fish. Uh, he puts up with a bunch of crap too, man. I wouldn't put up with that either. But you know, he's to his own. He's to his own. All right, let's do this, man. Let's go ahead and give away one of these trucks. So, if you need, uh, you need to grab a face. You need to have a Facebook profile to get this. So if you win it and you don't have a Facebook profile, you're not going to be able to get the truck. Um, it's not like a Cell Cell Fi or Gumroad or anything like that. Uh, these guys just do it right out of Facebook, and they're pretty picky about who they how they do it. Um, so here's what I would say. <sighs> the sketchier your profile looks, the likelihood of them not selling it to you is likely um, is very high. They're pretty particular about their mod. They don't really care if they make a ton of money. They just wanted me to showcase, review the trucks for, for, you know, for their own good. But also, I'm sure they probably wanted to make a little bit of extra side cash on the side for these mods. Um, and they're good. I, I think, you know, for I, I pretty much bank it. If everything's under the 25 mark, 
it's got to be really, really, really good once you get up to 30 and plus 30. It's got to be really good to, to be able to charge those for mods because we have some really good high-quality mods. But if you're looking for a W900L that's um, not Rudas, it's not Slam, that's not – you know, really customized and maybe you're worried about performance. This is a really good performing truck. Uh, it's not huge. It's not super, super, super fancy. So if you're worried about that on system for just resources, um, I think you'd be better off buying this if you're worried about resources on the truck. Um, you know, outside of that, though, it's it's great truck. I like it. I like the interior on it, actually. This is probably more of my favorite Kenworth uh, interior than the, even the new stuff. So, but anyway, let's go ahead and let's... um. Let's go ahead and let's close up entries. Everybody, everybody done this, right? Right? Everybody's done this. Yes, Chasten. Yes, we could. <clears throat> or even send him a quick message and say, hey, reach out to FTG because I, I hate chasing these guys down. <laughs> Big P guy. Oh, maybe. I, I think I've got the P down. I can give you a sneak peek of it. Oh, Gabriel, you missed it. All right, here. Here, Gabriel, hit it again after you see the uh, thing come through there. Hang on. Let it come through. I'll let you guys get your last entry in. <laughs> I know you are funny. All right, let's see if it gives. Uh... All right, yeah, yeah. So hit the exclamation giveaway. There you go. All right, we're going to close it down in 10 Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right. So there's that. Got a lot of uh, entries, so good luck, everybody. Membership, guys, get two chances, get two names in the hat. Everybody else gets one. So at least for our members out there, they've got twice as good a chance to win. Yes. Whatever that winds up being. I'm sure that percentage is super small anyway. But anyway, here we go. Let's pick a winner. Three, two, one. Chat says, dude, <laughs> that's like the second thing he's won this month. Thunderwolf 5150. Are you here? Thunderwolf Indy, his house. I saw him fire up ATS. So if he's driving, he better hurry up and get in chit chat. Ah, oh, he's here. Everybody's like, dang. All right, Thunderwolf, uh, hit me up in the Discord, my friend. Thunderwolf, is, uh, he's actually won a couple. I think he's won two bots. I think, um, what was the other one you won, Thunderwolf? That was another one he won. <laughs> he goes, I know, right? Well, I guess as long as I'm drawing. That's funny, man. <laughs> he need his luck. Yeah, he's he's won a couple of mods. I was trying to think of the last one he won. I it was um uh, I can't remember what it was. I want to say it was like a deal. No, it wasn't a deal C. Alec Nelson, man, all the way to Overdrive, man. The last trailer giveaway. That is right. That is right. It was the last trailer one, man. Oh, well, congrats, man. See, there, are pays to have your name in green. <laughs> oh, thank you there, Alec. Appreciate it, man. Up and is all the way to the overdrive. So thank you, man. Appreciate it, man. Uh, so, all right, so hit me up in Discord, and we see, get your Facebook profile, and then um, and then I'll send that over to him, take care of the, the payments, and then uh, we'll get yourself a new W9. So, yeah, man, thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks for the all the support. Uh, as well. Thanks for everybody else, man. This has been a good stream, man. It was good to be back in the in the thick of it tonight. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a little something new and enjoyed driving around and doing a little chit chat. It's always a good thing. Um, thanks for the, our uh, our guests come in to hang out with us for a bit, man. Thanks for Jeff and uh, and uh, I forget the other one was it Muse? I think Mind Mind Tricks or something like that. I can't remember. Um, thanks to those guys. It was cool to see guys with check marks come in here. Big streamers coming in to. Much smaller streamers uh, uh, live streams. It's always good. I always appreciate that. Try to spot in over at Jeff on his uh, on his Twitch streams whenever I get a chance, but I'm just not over there as much uh, on Twitch side of things. So I have to purpose make a <laughs> have to make a purpose to go over there. Uh, but anyway, it's always good to have those guys pop in and say hey and hang out for a bit. So 
thank you all, man. Appreciate it very much. And don't forget, tomorrow night we are going to give away another one of these uh, bad boys. So if you like uh, these types of cups and stuff, this is really good. It's got a nice top that comes with it. Um, I got the new FTG logo on it. We've also got our sponsor, Track Racer. Fanatec Digital Storm uh, partners there, not sponsoring anything, but they are partners uh, of the stream, so it's always cool, man. Yeah, man. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate that, Jeff. Um, so it's always good to be able to give cool stuff away and have guys in the community that want to sponsor that kind of stuff. So thanks to Ghost Rider. No, not Ghost Rider. Sorry. Ghost Trucker. Appreciate that, man. He's uh, He gave us one last away. Uh, he gave – wait a minute. He um, – Gave the money, donated last stream to give that away. Uh, so we'll do that. Baden, thanks for your super chat as well. Uh, Ghost Trucker at 55 tonight, man. Appreciate it. Cap Chaos getting started off with a master $50 donation this morning. Uh, I mean, uh, right before we started. So thank you there, Captain Chaos, as always. Dre, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Uh, we've got new members there, Dalton, uh, as well as Alec Brown. Let me make sure I get the other members there. Abel, as well. Uh, and Alec Nelson. Appreciate it, man. All the new subs. Thank you guys very much. Sinel Premium with the $20 Super Chat. Uh, and a couple of uh, dollar tips in there as well. So thank you guys very much. Uh, always be 930. So I, I don't typically just can't get the kids in bed and get down here and get set up before 930. So um, I will be live. And then I think this weekend we may do one convoy and then I may do something different at the other end of the night. We may we may go back and try some racing this weekend. Um, and if you want to see the uh, racing rigs and uh, all of that kind of stuff, I've got some cool stuff on IG, so if you want to see some rigs or got some questions about rigs or anything like that, uh, feel free to uh, you know give me a shout. Uh, I'll answer whatever I can on there. It's really easy for me to do on Instagram. I actually like it a lot better than I do in the rest of them. Uh, plus, being able to share out updates and all the cool stuff is always always a good thing. So, uh, so anyway, I will see you guys. Hopefully, uh, we'll be back tomorrow. And at least my schedule is tomorrow stream, Friday, and Saturday. That is my plan, okay? So we plan on going four days in a row here. So make sure you tell your friends, come out and watch the stream. Um, it is uh, Pepperoni Pizza. <laughs> That's a nice name, man. Yes, it is. Uh, send a message 25. Um, send a message over to um, the guy. It's uh, Name's in the description and profile. He's Russian, uh, which most of the modders for ATS are Russian, <laughs> unfortunately. Russian and Brazilian. Well, we love our Brazilians, though. And uh, hopefully, too, we're going to have a couple of new things. Maybe we'll have a new engine, a DD60, that will be in a freight liner maybe one night this week. Maybe have a really awesome light pack from Chaos Shadow Orga that we might be able to showcase. So we're waiting on those guys to get them all buttoned up, and then we're going to stream those. Um, so that's going to be cool. So anyway, absolutely, trip. Much respect to you guys, man. It's awesome. Thank you guys for what you do. Um, and I guess I will see you here all in the next live stream tomorrow night, man. Y'all don't miss it. Remember, giving us away, and who knows? Somebody else might pull something else in tomorrow and give something else away. I got no idea. Here, if you guys want to see, let me see if I have it in here. Ooh, I do have it in here. So here is just their uh, short. Here's their short three. This is the 378 short. But look at this. Look at all of these cabs. There's a lot of cabs. <laughs> a lot of caps. Actually, we built a heavy hauler, which we never do. So it's always cool when we do that. Look at that. It's got a very nice interior. 378 style, man. This is uh, it's pretty legit. I think, I think you guys would actually like this one. Because this is definitely not my style. I don't like 378, but somebody out there does. These big old bubble headlights. Yeah, man. I figure y'all like that. Anyway, we might do a build and drive with this one because it's got a lot on it. Uh, and then we've got some other stuff, man. It's got so much to show. Um, we'll just have to take our time at it. We still got to make it down to Australia. Jeff flew down to Australia and got some videos done before we got a chance to do that. So it is what it is. <laughs> Can't win them all. Can't beat them all. <laughs> so, all right, man. You guys take it easy. Oh, my gosh. Ghost Trucker 60, man. Holy crap, man. <laughs> $50 for tomorrow in case I don't make it. Well, thank you there, Ghost Trucker, man. Appreciate it. Very much so, man. That is awesome, dude. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. Uh, yeah, well, you can do that, National Force. You can do that. You can do it bigger. You can actually do extended uh, on the 379s. You can do 89s with extended or short. You can do both. Like, you can do all three cabs uh, variants with the nose, which is kind of cool. So, yeah, we, we got tons of things that we can do with that one. So, we need to haul something heavy tomorrow. We haven't done that in forever. So, 
Uh, awesome, man. Thank you there, Ghost Trucker. Appreciate it, man, uh, very much. Uh, how do these guys sell trucks with it? Uh, it? PayPal. Like, he'll send you a PayPal link, Mac. Like, if you really wanted to get it, and he'll send you the PayPal, and you just do it like you do anything else. Like, it's uh, it's the same way that John Rudy used to do it. So, thank you there, Angel, or Angel. Appreciate it, man. Uh, yeah, so that that's, yeah, that, it's the same thing, man. That's that's how they do it. It's all through PayPal. So, you know, I guess they get to pass by the fees of some of the other cell fives and gum roads and whatnot. So, all the plane. I don't even know if I have a plane. <clears throat> I'd have to look. I don't think I'd do. Helicopters about the close I, closest I could get to you that one there. So, um, not exactly the easiest thing to explain at the end of the stream. That Skinning an ATS has gotten much more difficult than it used to be. I will tell you, National Force game, and if you have any kind of computer savvy knowledge, go look up Mod Studio 2. They've got a Discord uh, called Roadside Studio, but Mo Mods Studio 2 is the place to go and actually watch videos and do a little bit of learning, and they'll teach you how to do all that stuff, even to DOMS 379, because that's where I learned. <laughs> uh, it doesn't matter. Like, you just need to send him a message. He speaks English. Or he speaks enough to sell a truck. How about that? So if you ask him a question, he'll translate it, and he knows what you're saying or trying to say. So, uh, Train 392, I've got a special, since I've got the TR-160, uh, they've got a special mount back there that's got like a VESA mount, and the back of that box sits on the VESA mount. And so I can rotate it in and out and uh, slide it up and forwards to get the get the depth right. Uh, that's the good thing about having these rigs like this. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, that's a good question, man. Good question. Uh, get some more questions up, man. If you got more, ask me on IG, <laughs> Insta, or the Gram, or Instagram for the boomers out there. Other than that, I got to go. I'll see you guys tomorrow night. Have questions ready in hand. I'll see you guys. Take it easy. Peace out.